Hello, everybody. My name's Asher. I'm Tatiana. And we're here to find the, the real genius. genius. I am a 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 genius. Hey, everybody. Let's get down to business. Say your name and then show us that you're a genius. My name is Daniel. I've been a software engineer for 10 years now and I built an app to manage my closet. You said manage your closet? I have too many clothes. Period, yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> right now it's titled Dressitation. This is the outfit section <gasps> and it keeps track of all your outfits, but today's outfit is all the way over here. I plan future outfits too. This the gym, the shoe that you wear to go exercise? Yeah, that's I mean, it's, those are these shoes, what? Okay, oh, wait, wait. I want to have a question. When Daniel walked in and started showing us his app, it's a brilliant concept. Mm. I want it on the app store, I want to download it. I just wonder if he really did it though. You I know think what I'm saying? He did it. Hello, oh wait, do I step out? Um, hi, I'm Danica. Um, I did my undergrad in math and CS. I'm getting my master's in CS. Uh, I do competitive puzzles too. Do you have any puzzles or anything you could show us? Oh yeah, okay, like do you guys, what kind of puzzles do you guys like? You the genius, so the uh, <laughs> Well, my name's on the leaderboard, so I got second place this month. The first place is Lazar, he always beats me. <laughs> <laughs> so like Danica is me. And this one's was pretty easy. It was kind of like a Sudoku type. That's easy? Um, this was this one's puzzle. Um, she could have put her name on that leaderboard. She could have made up the rest of the names. The puzzle, I wasn't convinced. I could I could go on Google and find a random little puzzle that nobody on figured out. Wait, so how long did these take you to do? So this one took one hour, but um, so this one was like really hard. It took 27 days. So it's basically like using prime factors to get a very large number that satisfies a to the b equals n to the n. Sure. So this was the answer. It was like, how many digits is this? A Three, lot. six, so, so here's the thing, right? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just, I just gotta jump in, right? Either I don't understand, because that's some really smart <laughs> or you bullshit and it don't make sense. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm Jacob. I went to MIT and graduated in 2018. Um, I do the New York Times crossword every day. I also know pi to the 54th digit. Yeah, Yeah. of um, course. Well, let's I hear it. I, let's hear it, I was, okay. shall we? 3.14159265358979323843 Wait, 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 wait. I learned it as a kid in a road trip. How old were you? Um, eight, look up the pi, that is all the digits. I've tried to forget it, but you just never forget it. Why they put me in charge of this? Look, could y'all please just go to jubilee.com slash casting so you can be in the next video and they don't have to keep calling me up all the damn time. Mm. Uh, hi, my name is Chris. You so, got a nice smile, by the way, too. Thank you very much. You know, still in progress, but uh, it is what it is. If you guys are familiar with um, indigenous languages, uh, languages like Navajo have specific apps to learn, uh, like Duolingo is now partnered with Navajo. Unfortunately, Cherokee uh, is not quite there yet. We have very few speakers. And so in order to try and increase the number of speakers, I've been working on an app which helps people learn, pronounce, uh, and create sentences. Fancy language, man. Can you show us uh, <laughs> Sure. So, uh, oh, can you do like a whole uh, Indian song? Oh maybe? gosh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe another time. This, so, this is your moment. That is your moment. <laughs> okay, Talent wait. Talent show, come on. See yo, see got the usti de jeton. Got the usti de jeton. See yo, see yo. Krista wadon, Krista wadon, can I leave a sesti? Pretty good. You and you be. It's a friendship song. I actually got Katabasu Indian in my family. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt like the ancestors was getting invoked a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was like, I was relating to them. I don't know anything about indigenous languages, but I know that they are harder to learn, in particular because they aren't traditionally taught. Hi, I'm Arushi. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm a machine learning engineer at a startup, and by night, I'm a solo game dev. Uh, two fun facts about me. I started coding since I was in the first grade, and I got a 2300 on my SAT in eighth grade, so. Oh. I love it. Actually, I do have some screenshots of my demo. Here's like just a video game that I'm currently creating. Um, you basically solve a series of puzzles. They could be ciphers, um, booby traps, things like that. Hi, you can see, I believe people more. Maybe I'm gullible, but... You are. I can tell. <laughs> okay, you're a genius, it seems. Yeah, hi. Perfect. Nice to meet you. I'm Harry. All right, that handshake. 
I don't know if that's a genius <laughs> handshake, Nobody man. else gave you a handshake. Nice to meet you. So I'm 19. I'm currently the founder of two multi-million dollar companies. The first is a trading firm. So it passively makes around $3,000 a day. And the second is a tutoring company, BojBracketElise.com. You can actually search it up. This is my channel, which I used to funnel to my website. So I essentially try and tutor people to get into top-notch investment banks and hedge funds such as D-Shot, with Morgan, Morgan Stanley. What, 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 what are some of the top hedge funds that, uh, that you help people get into? Yeah, I do like day trading D-Shot. myself, so I'm curious oh, what you're doing, bro. I'm glad to trade strategies. The truth is, it does not take a genius to make multi-millions of dollars. Not mm. that I have millions of dollars and I'm just saying that, but it doesn't take a genius to make money. I wasn't convinced by him. He had the whole suit, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, that was, I, I thought that was kind of gimmicky. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly, exactly. So they might ask you a question. How would you invest $1 million? Mm-hmm. Man, I think he booked. I'm easily impressed by anybody that knows computer science, because I don't. Overall, Good. clearly, mm. I'm impressed. By everybody. By them all. Yeah. The ab dude and the, the singer dude. The dude. They all made abs. Let's just say the black guy <sighs> the <best. laughs> and, and the singer dude. And then you with the pie. I don't know about his, man. I got to ask him some more questions. Add yourself this Rubik's Cube. I mean, see, he trying too hard. Why didn't you do that in the first round? <laughs> I didn't no one even... asked me what my skill set was. Oof. Gonna get roasted in the comments for my handwriting. Dun, dun, dun. I like your handwriting. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I was a little heartbroken, but it's okay. I understand I do give an anxious vibe. Woo! Where'd everyone go? Where they at? Oh, they found the Nectar app. Oh, you a genius. All right, everybody. We have prepared a genius test for you today. Can we have the whiteboards, por favor? Oh, no. Feels like the GRE. All right then, the first question today. What is five plus three? <laughs> Mr. Daniel, sir, what is your answer to the a, question? It was a tough one, but eight. <laughs> Wild guess. Is this okay? I thought it was 91, but <laughs> yeah. You're all correct. Second question is a little bit harder. What is? 11,111 times 12,345. I guessed. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do the math, but then I was just like, it's an estimate of a nine digit number. Okay, so. okay, 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 okay. And then you guessed too? I guessed, yeah. Okay. I was working through the process manually. Oh, you didn't finish? Oh, okay. You might not be smart then. Oh my God, Arush. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this is the process I also went through, like Chris. Um, I kind of just aligned the numbers as such because it's one, two, three, four, five, correct? Times one, 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 one. So just basically shift it, translate it like that, and then come up with the answer. Ooh, I was doing that better. too. I don't even know if that works, but that sounds cool. Okay, and then um, Harry? This is what I learned in Chinese oh, kindergarten. <laughs> kindergarten? Like, you have to multiply. <laughs> or if you do division, you do it like this, and then it gives out the answer. The right answer is 137 million. 137 million 165,295. Oh, so she, she got it Arushi right. Arushi got it right. <laughs> Harry, did you get it all the way right? Yeah. 95, 95. That is the yeah. So the next questions we're shifting away from math, and so we're going to be leading more. Let's see, creative problem solving. So the first question is, what is coming but never arrives? Three. Two, one. The answer is tomorrow. I wanted to be different. Okay. What, 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 breakfast. The second question is, what starts with an E and ends with an E, but only has one letter? Three, two, one. Hands down. So the right answer is envelope. Hey. So Daniel hey. answers E. Envelope. Why is your writing so horrible? Well, when he wrote down envelope too, it didn't even look like envelope. I think he spelled it wrong. Yeah. I think he actually so spelled he it really wrong. is he really genius? What's your answer? <laughs> well, there's actually a Chinese character, Zhi. It's like sun. If you flip the E around, that makes the word. That's Starts brilliant. with the E, ends with the E. That 
is creative thinking, and that actually shows me more than maybe the right answer might. Thank you. Okay, mm. my last question is, if I drink, I die. If I eat, I'm fine. What am I? Three, two, Cactus. I'm just having fun with it at this point. Perfect. <laughs> Alcohol. And I like that personality, by the way. The desert. Cactus. Hey. The mm -hmm. man Engineers. eating. Man. Hey. None of you got it right, actually. The answer is fire. That's a good one. Oh, huh? yeah. Hmm. All right. Why do you never hear a pterodactyl use the bathroom? Nine. Eight, seven, six, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. Stop! Hold your pants! Hold your pants! Hold up, but guys, so starting here, Arushin's small up. hands, they can't flush, because they did. I made an oopsie. Good answer, but no. That's actually correct. The P. It's like you don't need a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Dead don't exist. And is that a meteor? Yeah, a meteor hit the earth. That's a smart answer things. right there, because the meteor took them all out. <laughs> Sorry. You say you're, you're a Cherokee Indian, right? Yeah. How old are you, man? 15. I want to ask. He's a little project. You can ask me whatever you like. I'm curious, right? Indian benefits. I'm like Katabi Su Indian, right? Like affirmative action? Nah, nah, nah. Like the casino benefits. Though, oh, right? yeah. How much percent Cherokee you gotta be in order to get those benefits? So we don't actually distribute uh, casino funds to uh, specific people. Uh, the Cherokee Nation instead uses all the proceeds. Uh, we just built a $100 million hospital uh, on the reservation. I believe it's in Tahlequah. We try and use our funds instead of just distributing out to tribal members more towards uh, just trying to benefit the community. They don't give you no money whatsoever? No, not really a thing with the Cherokee Nation. Do either of y'all two have girlfriends? I live with my partner, yeah. Had. Had girlfriend? I mean, I'm 15. <laughs> oh, 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 puppy love. And what about you, you got a boyfriend? No, <laughs> I haven't actually dated anyone before, so. How old are you? I'm 24. <laughs> 24 and older? Yeah. I do like that. My last question for all three of you, we're gonna start with Jacob, is what do you think is the mark of a true genius? Well, there's so many definitions for a genius, but if I were, like say one thing, it's just like passionate about learning, mm. I think. Chris, what do you think? Obviously, like he's saying, there's a bunch of different definitions. There's social intelligence, a person who's really popular, musical intelligence. There's people who are really talented at math. Um, but really, I think it's a person who can tell when someone's upset, when they're happy, uh, and how to respond accordingly. Honestly, it comes down to just being very perceptive and being intentional in everything you do. I kind of narrow it down to like equality. I think being humble is really important and also being able to learn from others. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, when we are kind of uh, lacking in certain areas, it's important to go ahead and ask for help. And then in that way, you're kind of gaining that knowledge as well, so. Mm. Oh, not the red. <laughs> Not the red. We gotta kick somebody out. <laughs> what am I thinking? What do you think? Because I want to hear your thought. I'm incredibly <laughs> impressed by um, Chris. And also, you got every single question right. You got oh, no, it. I lie. Not the long math problem. You didn't finish that one. Arushi got that one right. Yeah, and he, sure and, did. And, and that's a good thing, Sure too. did. My guess is him. For a 15-year-old, he speaks really well. And if he's just that good at lying, he's either a great actor or he's, or he's a genius. Yeah, he's a genius. Yeah, right. You ain't it, I'ma be mad, bro. <laughs> if the lights turn green, that means you have found the real genius, and you win. If the lights turn red, that means you have voted the wrong person, and you win. Singer over here, right? Aww. Saying big money about the chair. That's what I'm talking about. So I got interested in language uh, when I was a little kid. I've always wanted to learn Spanish and then Cherokee, and so I took class at my high school, and then I've kind of been self-taught uh, with Cherokee and online resources. Once you're 14 years old, you're eligible to be uh, enrolled in Mensa. So I had the school psychologist, when I was in eighth grade, uh, give me an IQ test, the WISC-5, uh, and it turned out I was eligible to join uh, Mensa as well as Intertel, 
Since then, uh, I've published some things, just working on that program, and uh, that's kind of how I got my start into this whole thing. Has anything changed for you in your life since you found out you were a literal genius? Not really. Um, a couple of my friends know. Most people don't. Um, <laughs> They're gonna know say now. <laughs> a couple opportunities, so. I'm curious, right? Starting with you, man. Was you lying about anything today? Honestly, no. Danica, what about you? Uh, uh like, li I didn't really say much. <laughs> no. I'm um, sorry. I mean, the puzzles were real. For the dating lives one, I got some team. <laughs> the guy who beat me, Lazar, he like sent me his resume and he's like, if you're ever in Boston, like hit me up. Wait, that's, that's some puzzle riz right there. They need to, no, like, listen, <laughs> we have programmers here. We need an app for geniuses to mingle. So I sent Lazar an email um, that said, uh, love is the hardest puzzle to solve. Um, he didn't reply. <laughs> I didn't think I really had to embellish anything or lie, but there was definitely some stiff competition. I definitely didn't go to MIT. Um, I went to UCSD. I wouldn't say UCSD students aren't smart, but if you're gonna think of a genius, you're not gonna think of UCSD, no offense. The only thing that I embellished was my SAT score, so I lied that it was a 2300. It was actually a 2260, and I didn't take it in eighth grade with that score. I took it in 10th grade, so.